Emerald City Comic Con returns as the first major convention in the newly renovated Seattle Convention Center. It is a big milestone as the convention celebrates 20 years in Seattle. King 5's Angelique Cockaday is live for us this morning to show us around inside the new Seattle Convention Center expansion. This event isn't just for kids, right, Angelique? There's something for the whole family. Yeah, that's right, Mimi. Thousands of people are going to be flocking to downtown Seattle to check out all the books, the video games, of course, some of the celebrities. To break it all down for us, I'm joined by Fallon Prinzavelli. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Yeah. So talk to me a little bit about what makes Comic-Con so exciting. Really, it's the community of fans. There's something for everyone here, whether you're a cosplayer, an anime lover, whether you like pop culture and celebrities. Uh, there's something to do no matter what you're into, and you meet other people in that community, too. It's sure. really special. In 20 years, this is the first time that Comic-Con is really in, a, in this new uh, space, this new summit mm -hmm. building. Uh, talk a little bit about how it's been going so far. It's a big investment for the city, the summit building. Yeah, it's been so smooth. It's a beautiful building. There's so much natural light, and like I said, we have cosplayers and costumes, so it's great photo opportunities for them. Um, but there's so much space, it's nice to be able to have a new building that we can still grow into. Um, and I'm just really looking forward to the rest of the weekend because everything's been going flawlessly. Well, that's good to hear. But do you miss the old building at all? The Ark? Is there any sort of nostalgia there? Yeah, absolutely. I think what I'm really excited for is one day when we're able to take over both buildings. Okay, yeah. there you go. <laughs> looking to the future. Yeah, and also that's an interesting point because talk about attendance. It's it's growing pre, uh, since the pandemic, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we're expected to have 75,000 people today, which is up over the past two years. So we're just continuing to have our fans feel comfortable enough to come back to the show and also getting some new fans who are excited to experience it for the first time. Well, we know we've got some fans right here. Luis Sierra, our photographer, is a fan. He's excited. He's wearing his uh, Spider-Man hoodie today. So listen, if you want to come down and check out all that there is to offer at Comic-Con, we've got a link for you to get some tickets. Uh, just text the word comic 20644845 and we'll send you a link just note that it's already sold out for Saturday but I've been told lots of tickets still available for today and for Sunday but for now reporting live here inside the Comic-Con Convention Center Angela Cockaday King 5 News a uh, fun weekend ahead you teased us with the Spider-Man hoodie too we're going to have to check that out later <laughs> thanks Angela have fun down there today. Also, King County Metro is reminding you to make use of public transportation if you head downtown for Comic-Con. To plan out your trip, you can text your bus stop number to 62550. They'll help you plan that. And a reminder, anyone 18 and younger, ride to the convention center for free.